Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is a Wednesday, day 20th of the Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. Um, yeah, I think I said the same thing last week uh, on that Wednesday, which is that, uh, well, the video is on Wednesday, but I'm recording on Tuesday night, Tuesday evening. Though technically it is after midnight right now uh, at 12.20. But, uh, and the reason why I say that is because Tuesday evening is where I do my, my speed work. Um, and as a result of that speed work, uh, I'm huffing and puffing harder than that uh, big bad wolf in, what is it called, the three piggies? The little piggies? I'm more like the piggies than the wolf, but I'm huffing and puffing anyway. Uh, and as a result, <clears throat> maybe you could figure it out a little bit from my voice, is that I don't really, ha I'm like literally huffing and puffing for eight miles or whatever it is, uh, doing speed work at max, uh, or co maybe not max, but very close to uh, real two max though. So anyway, my point is that my apologies if my voice is a little bit soft, if you can hear me, uh, you know, I'm trying. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at today's poem. Uh, and then we'll just get to it. Today we have 1277, count square submatrices with all ones. Um, this is a pretty, um, I don't know, I mean, I, w I don't want to say standard, but I think the first time I noticed it, I was like, oh, this is really cute. And then I saw like the same poem like five times, and I'm like, okay, I mean, it's still cute, but, uh, but yeah, I'll go over it real quick. Um, I mean, yeah, for me it's relatively standard, but uh, yeah, and I solved this three times, which I'm not surprised. Um, hmm. Because this is, for me, it, this poem goes way back, so I'm not even, like, pretending that I don't remember it. Uh, I mean, I generally don't, I mean, I actually don't remember most poems, just to be clear. But uh, but this one I most certainly do. And feel free to watch those videos, because I probably did not record those videos super tired, and like today. Uh, tired and out of breath still. I mean, I'm not out of breath right now, but I'm just, like, my, my I don't know, something about the cardio or voice projection or something is not really, uh, Today, um, yeah. In any case, the idea, the main idea, and I'm gonna keep it short. If you want a longer version, maybe watch last year's video. Uh, I mean, you know, yeah. The idea is this dynamic programming, right? The idea is that okay, you have uh, a, well, a one by one square is pretty straightforward, right? Like you just need one, and a one by one or a two by two is composed of of four one by ones also i'm saying staying the obvious here right but but the key thing to note is also then uh how do you figure that out i mean you can figure that out pretty easily but can you figure it out in a like can you figure out what's three by three right well that's less true i mean that's nine one by one but if we do a loop for or nine that's gonna be too slow um the key thing to notice about this is that for three by three, you can actually, instead of doing a nine one by one, you can take advantage of the overlaps. And by overlaps, I mean that, uh, you know, let's say here, you're, you're at this cell, you're looking at this cell, you wanna see if we can do a two by two, or even three by three, sorry, right? Then actually it turns out, then if you have these, if there's, there's a two by two here, if there's a two by two here, and there's a, a, a two by two here. I'm changing the color because it overlaps. Then there's a three by three, assuming that, of course, this is a, I, I, I circle this to mark this, but I guess this is confusing with this poem, but this is a one, right? Um, that's basically it. And you could kind of um, use this visualization to do a four by four, right? Try it at home. Uh, if, you, if you're a little bit confused, just draw it out. Uh, pause, draw it out, take your time. I mean, I think, I don't know. People are always ask me to like wish, draw more stuff and visualize, and to a degree, you're probably right. I probably could draw a little bit more, but this is not meant to be like you know. You're not watching YouTube's like you're watching like uh, I mean, I guess you are, but but you you shouldn't if you're trying to learn. You're not trying to learn by like you know. This isn't like trivia, right? Uh, where you're like, oh, um, I don't know. I don't even have a good trivia fact right now. It's like watching a bear documentary and be like, oh, a bear does this. Like, oh yeah, a bear does that. No, well, you, I mean, maybe, but 
but my point is, you know, with, with these programming problems, you're not here to memorize trivia, right? This is why it's hard for some people, and or maybe even a lot of people, is because they they think that knowing is the same as doing, right? And I'm not saying that this visualization would solve everything, but you can at least do a little bit, right? This isn't like a sit on your couch, sit on your uh, whatever, I don't know, your bed, uh, watching this video kind of thing um, and be like, oh, or you just have to know A is A, B is B and C. Is no, no, no. You have to like actually work at it. You have to think about it. This is like, this isn't watching basketball. Uh, uh, that's a terrible analogy. This isn't, this is like watching basketball. I mean, I use this analogy a lot, right? This is not like watching basketball and be like, oh yeah, so that's how you shoot the ball. Right? No, you have to actually go to the thing and shoot it. Uh, and just because this is a brain sport, if you will, competitive programming, you put in quotes, uh, you know, you may get a little bit confused because, and you know, uh, I'm about to sneeze. Oh, excuse me. Um, and I don't remember what classes are like in college or uni or whatever. Um, I know that in a lot of non-STEM things, um, it is just memorizing trivia, right? Memorizing dates, facts, whatever. Uh, but no, like, you know, at least in my comp sci classes, uh, a lot of things you have to do, even on tests, right? Um, I was actually just talking on my Discord channel about, uh, I remember my um, my algo final. I want to, I mean, it's, well, I had algo finals as well, but I don't, no, I guess that was a midterm, actually. Well, yeah. Uh, but I have an outgo midterm uh, when I was an undergrad. When I was, a, I think I was a sophomore. I was taking a 600 level algo class. Um, and the tests were hard. They were actually like thinking problems. And like, you know, these are the tests where the average score was like a 40, right? Like out of 100 or something. Um, so, you know, and... and um, at that time, I was too young to uh, appreciate it, and, and I've never done ACM or uh, uh, what's it called, IOI or IOM or anything like that when I was younger. So like that was my first exposure. But anyway, okay, I, I'm I'm divesting a lot, divesting, diverting, di digressing. Uh, anyway, my point is that remember. Uh, <laughs> it's a little bit of a rant. Remember to just visualize it, draw it out. You have to. Uh, like, you're not here to remember how to solve problems. You're here to actually solve the problems, right? I hope. I mean, and also, if you're just watching this to support me and you don't care about solving problems, that's good too. I mean, I, I, I appreciate it. But if your goal is to get better at this, you don't get better at knowing. You you don't want you don't need to get better at no I mean, well, maybe it helps, but your goal is to get better at knowing things. Your, your goal should I assume would be to get better at solving problems, right? And so you have to be able to, you know, this is an active sport. If you if you're tired, if you you know, like I am now, uh, you know, it's okay. Come back for it, right? It's like um, I don't go to the, the basketball court to work on my things when I'm tired because, you know, you, you learn stuff with bad form. You know, it's uh, it's not very it's not. You know, it's not always going to work out for you, right? It's not advantageous if you're, like, you know, just doing things just to do it. But, um, yeah, be be active in your, your learning is what I want to say. Anyway, all right. That, usually that, that kind of stuff I say for the intro, but uh, I got in the middle of this one a little bit. Um, but, yeah, yeah. Um, all right, yeah, so that's basically the idea, right? Uh, and this, as a result, is relatively straightforward once you kind of have that visualization down. And then now, I mean, you know, uh, and then it just becomes, okay, now to generalize it, so, okay, huh, how do I say this? Um, yeah, I mean, I think like a naive way to do it would be like binary search, right? Um, like, can, if I have a, a corner, like, is there three um, five by fives? Is there three ten by tens? You know, binary search stuff, you could kind of draw it out. Um, but it turns out there is some um, thing that you could take advantage of, which is that um, 
try to think about how to overlap different squares, right? Maybe I'll bring the drawing back, actually. Hang on. Um, I think th that this is, I don't know if I want to call it a trick because everyone just calls everything they don't know a trick. And it, it annoys me, honestly, a little bit um, because it's like, no, no, you can figure it out. It, just because you learned it without figuring out yourself doesn't make it a trick. You just didn't learn it. <laughs> it's a trick because, you know, you, you refuse to learn it, you know, uh, to a degree, you know. Um, some stuff is trivia in the sense that, like, you just have to know. But in any case, yeah. My my thing that I want, I want to challenge you though, right, is figure out. Okay, let's say uh, you know you're, you're at this square, and and yeah, and you know you have a a square to the left that's of some length of uh, some size. I don't know. Uh, you have a square to the up uh, or vertically up that's of another length, and then now you have uh, another color. Uh, yeah. Maybe these colors are too too similar. I don't know. Uh, that that's like another length, right? Okay, and so far that I can't even draw it on the board. But then now think about okay, given these three squares, what is the biggest square that this can make, right? What are we limited by, right? What are the the kind of like um, sorry, I'm drawing like on top of the other thing I drew, but like what are the things that you know? that limits the, the size of the biggest square that you can draw, right? And that's basically kind of what, uh, how, how I want to, how I want you to think about this, right? Um, but yeah, um, and of course the next step is just gonna be spoilers, so yeah, uh, okay. I mean, it's, it's spoilers if you know, whatever, right? But the idea here is that every corner now just represents the biggest, um, let me write, write in, so you, IJ is the biggest square with, um the i j cell is the um bottom right right something like that right um yeah um Yeah, okay, sorry. Yeah, and then now we just gotta go for it, right? Um, so I'm like so tired. I'm like, I, I was trying to think whether the, the, I could say it in a slightly better way, but eh, I think maybe that's fine. If not, then watch the other videos. But yeah, but first of all, we set it, we establish it, which is that if matrix ij, I don't know why I put it in comments. If this is equal to uh, one, then dp of ij is at least one, right? And if this is the case, then um then yeah then we just look at the left up and and uh then oh, oh, how do i look on camera when i do this silliness i feel like uh what you call and you you know dragon ball z no the, do, 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 do. no okay fine uh leave leave a comment in the uh, comment section if you get my reference uh but anyway yeah um yeah, I mean, okay, yeah, so if i minus 1 is greater than 0, and j, because, you know, you need this to go to the diagonal, um, then dpij is equal to max of, well, just itself, right, or, or the min of, uh, of this, right, you probably could put this in a full loop if you really like. Uh, did I get the in, intense right? Hopefully. And then that's it. And then now, um, yeah. Now we just kind of, I, I guess you could get, you know, you could do it in a couple of ways, I suppose. Uh, you could loop through it again. You could just do, you know, something like this. Um, yeah. Right. And that should be almost good, but not because I went into an, uh, a typo, presumably. Uh, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's just, I, I, would, I just added in too quickly. I mean, clearly that wasn't right, but, uh, well, apparently this isn't right either. Uh, because I forgot to do a plus one. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
because it's this plus one, right? Uh, very silly for me. Okay, maybe. Oh, 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 which, oh, okay. I'm a little bit confused about this one. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Because uh, this one, we're not trying to get the max square, which is what I'm doing. I think I've run, like I said, I've seen this, or uh, I guess, variation of this problem a few times, so I ran on a little bit of autopilot. Here we want to get count, right? Um, okay, let's say that now, uh, yeah. Now, this is the biggest square, I mean, I even said it as well, where I have J cell is the bottom, right? Well, what does that mean? Well, let's say the biggest square has length 5, right? Or size 5, length 5, each side is length is 5, whatever, however you want to say it. Well, how many squares are there where this is the bottom, right? Well, just 5, right? Hopefully it's straightforward. There's 1, 1 by 1, 1, 2 by 2. I don't know if that's, is that a confusing? 1, 3 by 3, 1, 4 by 4, and 1, 5 by 5. And so then now, that's basically it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like 15. How do you get 15 as a max square? It's only 4 by 4. Uh, all right. Hopefully no silly typos. And there we go. Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, clearly this is, hopefully this makes sense, right? This is linear time, linear space. Um, and sometimes people get a little bit confused, but that's okay. I mean, I think I'm pretty consistent about this because why wouldn't I be? I would just be wrong otherwise. Um, which is that, remember, it's R times C, so all of R times C, but that is the linear in the size of the input, right? This is the input, this is, you know, so this is going to be linear time, linear space, and that's it. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And yeah, um, stay good, stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.